Looks like I'm not getting in. Another one to add to the collection. Looks like I'm not getting in.
Oh, oh there. Uh, don't you come any closer. I'm not for eating. I hope no one knows I'm a super tomato or they might get it into their heads to eat me. But I'm called Thomas and I've been polymorphed into a tomato by a wizard called Ursula. Well, I knew we should never have allowed a woman into the planting seahorse, but she seduced her way in, the Sidon. But you can get rid of her, Dragon Knight. You can undo her evils. She told us she's a professor and that she researched pre-war elven poetry. Our library is stacked with the stuff. And even though our club is men only, well, we couldn't resist her charms. But now she's turned on us, and as far as I know, is trying to make away with some of the magic we keep there. Oh, many's the time I gave her a pinch and a fondle, and now she betrayed us. How dare she? Why, the famous gentleman's club, of course, on Lanelore Lane. Surely you must have heard of it. Very exclusive. Open only to the best and the brightest. Well, not that me and my buddies are scholars. Gods, no. <laughs> but turns out the wealthiest also belong to the best and brightest. Dear me, you mean you'll defy the witch? Of course, of course. It's uh, Drudenai. Oh, it's where old Dio and that type of fellows keep secret stuff. Ancient magic, obscure sorceries, you name it. Me and my friends don't really care about all of those sorceries. So long as we guard those levers, everything's peachy. I can't help it. It's not like they gave us a course. Well, aren't you a regular hoot? This is the diary of a man called Hansel. What do you want to do with it? Very conscientious of you. This is the diary of a man called Hansel. The diary details Hansel's infatuation with Gretel and describes how he pines for her, lists reasons why they should be together. Apparently their names are a great match. But in recent entries, the tone becomes more grim, and it turns out Hansel lured an undead monster to the market so that Gretel's champion husband, Doris, might be killed when doing battle with it. You are confident Hansel would appreciate your silence, and Doris, your sense of justice. It's stuck.
Dragon Knight. Oh, I beseech you, help me, help me. Such vermin should be rounded up and burned. A black heart, but a weak will. How I abhor it. No, but it's just that the champions don't do anything for us citizens. I want to retrieve my mother-in-law's earrings, you see, but the playhouse, it's haunted. I didn't even think of those. Oh, God, what to do? They're all dead in there. I can hear them whisper. They're plotting my doom or something. Damn that Mara, the woman never likes me. But I need those earrings. They're valuable and I'm broke. Please bring me those jewels so at least I can buy a loaf of bread. It's just down the street. Used to be very popular. People from as far as Broken Valley would come and watch the shows. But then one night, they performed Chambers of Blood, a play as famed as it is infamous. It's about a group of women who form a secret cabal of sorceresses that wants to invoke the spirit of Ashtaroth, so they may bear him the demon spawn that will bring them power and riches. Only those foolish actors accidentally use the Bloodspawn edition of the drama, which includes real incantations. I don't know if it was Astaroth himself that was summoned that night, but whatever it was, it slaughtered everybody in the theatre before disappearing. The place has been deserted and haunted ever since. Oh, that's very kind, but I'd rather have those precious earrings, if you don't mind. <laughs> I, I understand. Welcome to Chechanel the best herbalist and illusionist in Alarot. And that's not just because I'm the only one. The ease with which I brew potions? I am truly a great herbalist. Oh yes! Ever since I was 12 and my parents moved here in search of fortune. We opened a shop and although we did struggle to survive those first few years, we decided to stay nevertheless, having fallen quite in love with this charming city. I don't think we would have stayed if we knew how Aleroth would turn out. Infected by strange creatures and ruled by the eccentric Deodatus. Still, I'm confident the champions will take care of matters as they always do. But of course. Shiny.
Another one to add to the collection. welcomes you, scion of the world. I hope you have brought much gold and riches for us to trade with. Lower prices mean less gold, but more sales, which equals more gold, should I venture in. Riches, dragon, gold, gems, real treasure. And goblins, what do they barter for? Skins, troll teeth, colored pebbles, a nice piece of wood to carve a totem from? <laughs> I left those juju gatherers and went to the city, where all are welcome if they bring gold. Even if they be goblins. Why, of course. My totems! I have one right here. It will be my pleasure. And all I ask is a modest price in gold. Surely not. I certainly can't sell it for less. Gladly, Dragon Knight. Gladly. Another Over one to add here. to the collection. Oh, my draconic customer returned. It will be my pleasure. And all I ask is a modest price in gold.
Surely not. It will be my pleasure. And surely not. It will be my pleasure. And surely not. Are you going already? Over here! Oh, scaly one! Please don't be a my draconic customer. It will be my pleasure. And here is the item you desire. May it serve you well. Are you going already? Surely you have more gold to spend? Magic land! No good. I'll have to walk. Dragon Knight, it is indeed a most fortuitous yet prestigious pleasure to make your acquaintance. Pray, may I, Astrodax, suggest a highly piquant proposal, the positive conclusion to which will nominate us both as the beneficiaries of considerable copiousness? so shrewd, or I can coax them to minister to my every demand. Acumen is the key. Capital. Here is the notion I want to adduce in the, I think, indubitable hope it will meet with your most ebullient approbation. I am a necromancer, a connoisseur of the deceased, a puppeteer of those in the most precocious state of worm-caressed hebitude. New experiments leave me in need of a triad of jewels that inhere to individuals who only quite recently did end their somatic existence, and by means of which I can bind their spectral quintessence, thus rendering me their de facto master. Bring me these gem-set desiderata, and I promise you a most generous guerdon. repudiation on accord of your inauspicious premonition. I pray you will have a change of heart. Should Damien and his armies break through Zandalore's shield, we champions will have to fight a foe more pernicious and deadly than this generation of our order has ever battled before. But let not this frighten you or weaken your resolve, for this is not the first time mankind has faced the might of the Black Ring and prevailed. The Divine is no longer with us, but let his memory and especially his example be a guiding force for you. 
and relish in the thrust of your sword through the very belly of the vermin that sides with the Damned One. We seekers stand by the champions, Dragon Knight. The pride of now Rivertown then. shall help deliver the Let's freedom talk of Alaroth. I want the streets to be locked down in segments so we can funnel the enemy into many a pocket of destruction. They will have the numbers, but they won't be able to exploit it. They will trample their own as archers let fall their deadly hail Thank from every window. Those who persevere will run General to their Luxurious deaths on the bloodthirsty tips of our blades as the force of magic the missiles gear. tears the flesh from their limbs. And by the by, I ask you to keep your business brief, Dragon Knight, for I have much to tell these soldiers. Ah, a leader of champions. Little does he know that the Black Ring will gouge out his eyes, pierce his tongue with bone splinters from his own legs, and put his head on a stake. To be a fly on the wall when it happens. I don't give us a chance in hell. But that would make for rather dreary speech material now, wouldn't it? Still, miracles have happened before. And in any case, we'll take plenty of the bastards with us if they dare face us in combat. Thank you, Dragon Knight. Some of you might wonder what we're going to do about the crow's nest and other parts of the city that have been infested by the walking dead. The answer is simple. I'm afraid I can't let you in, Dragon Knight. This is a private residence. There must be some way to gain entry to this place. It is crucial. Essential. Sagula, the renowned adventurer. Always out in search of new mystery and riches. I think he tossed his helmet in the ring because he has locked himself in his room and we haven't seen him for weeks. I couldn't tell you. But if I'd venture a guess, I'd say he's studying some treasure he found. Or perhaps he got himself a nasty sickness from some weird swamp vixen or something. If you like. Divine. Standing guard is boring. Why do we even bother if the Black Ring is about to attack? Looks like I'm yes. not getting in. Can I help you? If you like. Another one to add to the collection.
Xandalor is actually a werewolf and soon you'll eat everyone in the city before the demons can get here. I knew it! It's the beard, you know. The beard gives it away. Dragon Knight! You know, they say you've burned down entire fortresses, but that's nonsense, right? Oh, did you hear about Soul Square? I've got it on good authority some old evil has awoken there. No kidding! Welcome to my store, friend. Do you belong to the authorities, if I may ask? I had better lower my prices to win the dragon's favour, just in case it is suspicious of me. Good, good. Long as you're not one of the so-called champions. I'm not very fond of them, you see. Not that I have anything to hide, mind you. <laughs> anyway, let's do some shopping, shall we? Oh, don't read too much into it. I simply dislike their autocratic conduct. I mean, even if you've done nothing wrong. But they think you have. Not that I have. They might, though I didn't. Um... Let's just change the subject, shall we? I'm certain you'll find my wares to be satisfactory. A pumpkin. A bloody pumpkin. A man of my stature reduced to a plant of so unflattering a shape. I hope no one knows what power one may receive when they eat me in this pumpkin form. Oh, at least that would not have belied the gifts of nature. But first things first, I'm Ashraf, proud Plancing Seahorse card carrier. I take it you have heard of this exclusive club? Well, at least it used to be exclusive. Men only, you know. But then uh, Ursula came. No one could resist her. We were all enchanted by her beauty. And now she has betrayed us. Turned me into a vegetable. <gasps> the cheese of Vixen. A temptress who used us to gain... Actually, I don't really know what she wants. A harpy, that's Ursula. <gasps> but what a behind, Dragon Knight. An irresistible behind. The behind a man would quest for. Ah, you said it. <laughs> Go get her, Dragon Knight. <clears throat> yeah, lovely place, that. Right on Lanelore Lane. Best place to put up one's feet, down too much brandy, and forget all about the old ball and chain. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
sure you have some old tossers running around as well. Scholars, they call themselves. <laughs> but they leave us party-loving types alone. Ooh, yes? What? Fantastic! Just tell the door, open wide, and it will let you through. Not much. I never even saw them. Why I'm one of the three in charge of guarding its entrance is beyond me. Perhaps. It's because we never leave the club unless there's another soiree at Madame Eve's. <laughs> Divine praise you. This is Ashraf's room. What is the password? Only for you. This is Thomas's room. What is the password? That's bad for your health, you know.
Look at you. Lovely girl, aren't you? Now be gone before I have to scar your pretty face. How clever of me to enchant earrings. Subtle, yet so strengthening. Witch? A woman who knows magic is automatically a witch? Bah! I've had it with such prejudice logic. Long have I had to endure that sex is petty attempts at seduction, yet a street dog in heat has more charm and finesse. Not that it matters anymore. I have what I came for, and all these prancing chauvinists can rot for all I care. A spell is why I am here. A very rare, very powerful spell that I knew was kept in these archives, untouched and forgotten. It bestows upon the caster untold authority, and with it I will come to rule a land far away from here, a land you have never heard of. So let us leave it at that. Go our own ways. My reign will not bother you, and your exploits will not bother me. Foolish girl! Follow me then to my magic lair, and I will gladly remove your ignorant head from your pretty body. Another one to add to the collection. Come, little plaything. Catch me if you can.
Arise, my pet.
This parchment contains the incantation that will revert the spell Ursula put on the seahorse trio. Prepare for a mix of vegetable gratitude. Good gods! What has happened here? I'm away for a few hours and suddenly there's a Dragon Knight in the Forbidden Archives. Drain the knowledge from him, Dragon. This is what we seek. A witch? Surely you do not mean Ursula. Dear me, I never would have suspected. And she made it into the archives. I knew it was a bad idea to give the guard to those three yokels, but they insisted they could handle the responsibility. I hope for improvement, though I do not expect it. Ah, but let bygones be bygones. Thaddeus is the name, friend. At your service. Indeed she did. Xandalore sent her after the incarcerated spirit of a mage, Berlin. She came to me because I knew things of the history of Rivalon. History lost in many centuries. Though I swore secrecy, I broke that vow in the light of what is happening to this city and this world. I know why he is imprisoned. He, Berlin, adept of the Damned One and veteran of the Wizard Wars. They were apocalyptic battles that make the Great War seem to have been but a skirmish between a peasant and an ogre over the last bit of sausage. It was there that it all began. The incipience of the grand conflict that keeps tearing Rivalon apart. The struggle between the damned demon, his followers and his opposition. You see, back then, and this was millennia ago, the race of wizards, like Xandalor, ruled the lands. Yet, for thus is the human soul, some tried to lay claim to even vaster power. 
they would awake the dark essence of a shadow beast, a denizen from untold dimensions of untold might. It was chaos itself, and it would destroy and create concurrently. But there were wizards who resisted, those who saw the catastrophe that would follow in the demon's wake, and so they banded together with the seven primal races to form the first council of seven, a fist against the worshippers of darkness. Over a century the battle lasted, and in the end the council won. Those wizards who had sided with chaos like Berlin were executed and their souls locked away in intricate dungeons. Their undoers swore they would never speak of them, so their blood-stained memory would be forgotten. And so they have. For no one, except you, I and the few wizards left, know this story. Alas, that the demon followers who came after the accursed Black Ring were of such ardent passion for we all know the beast has roamed our world even as his original champions were rotting in their chains. Lord of Chaos, the Demon of Lies, the Damned One, and now Damien. One day Chaos may reach his full potential. Gods protect us all if he does. Yes, in so far that the human Damien is now the shell in which the Chaos Demon dwells and evolves. I do not know what you shall do should you find Berlin, but for the sake of all who are peace-loving in our land, I hope that you shall not act lightly.
Oh, yes. The true Lord of Chaos has not yet been freed. The Black Ring was never as strong as the wizards that once supported him. But they did succeed in kindling his spirit within that creature, Damien, where as yet it is but a flame waiting for conflagration. I don't know how that sinister design could be brought to reality, but never doubt he and his believers worked tirelessly to bring the demon about. I'll tell you what I told Rode. Berlin is trapped in a cavern that lies deep beneath Alaroth, below the place where the Champion Academy now stands. He was guarded by a shield, the one taken by Xandalor to protect the city, and also by a curious lock of sorts that is still in place. To open it, one needs to place five orbs over five runes. The orbs are there, but you will not know where to place them. I have heard that there were five who had knowledge of which rune corresponds to what orb. Each of the five knew about one, not all, a secret entrusted to each one alone. Who these five were, I have not been able to uncover, but they all had a link to Alaroth, so maybe if you scour every inch of this town, you can track them down and so reach the one you seek. No. No, no, I haven't. She told me she wouldn't bother looking for the five rune law carriers, but figure things out for herself. First, I don't see how that's possible. And second, she could barely have reached the academy before the dead arose and caused mayhem throughout the lower city. In truth, I fear the worst for her. I don't, not really. But perhaps they may have been of immense power and thus still alive. Perhaps they have descendants. And perhaps, and this I fear shall be the case, you will have to count on sheer serendipity to lead you to the clues you strive to find. Please do not breathe a word of what I have told you to anyone. This knowledge is secret and should remain so. So, now you truly know who I am, what it is I desire. The damned one will rule even if I give you the divine in return. So, search for the five. I know what tricks they play. Riddles all. Riddles and wounds. There we go. Read what you have just found, then have a chat with our foliated friend. This heavy tome, written in a beautiful, elongated hand, seems to await with eager anticipation the reader's gaze. Your dragon mind quickly absorbs the elvish alphabet, and from now on you'll be able to read and understand everything written or spoken in this ancient tongue. 